you as a player, it's very important that you know the difference of only using the wrist to do the stroke or making rotations from your underarm. The wrist will not create any power to your stroke. You'll have to do rotations in the underarm like this. So when creating the long forehand serve, as we talked about before, it's important that the power comes from the rotation in our arm. The rotation comes just when the shuttle is below us, we kind of rotate and create the energy. We are not going to create the energy just by bending our wrist and try to do it as powerful as we can. And maybe we also try to kind of load it like getting it backwards and then force it forward to create the energy. That's not possible, that will not create any energy. We have to have our arms out wide, keep a big stroke, and then just when we're about to hit the stroke, we are rotating in our underarm like that. See, it rotates. I'm not bending, it rotates. So actually my wrist is kind of relaxed during the whole stroke. In the backhand, once again, it's important to rotate in the underarm instead of using the wrist like this. When we are behind our body, it is it's difficult to control the stroke. And if you, the only thing in your body is the wrist working and doing this, you have no chance of getting it over. Maybe not with very high quality. So you have to combine the underarm rotation with a smaller finger work and then rotating your body. When you combine these things, you are able to create enough energy from this area to put it to the back line. So when doing the backhand serve, it's important that we're not using our wrist once again. This gives us so many options to create a possible uh, unforced error. And we are not in the same way going to rotate our arm during this stroke. It's something that happens in our fingers. So we're not going to control the stroke like this. We'll have a very uh, vertical uh, axis to, to kind of hit so the shuttle will possibly go to the net or go uh, and, and get too high. So instead of doing like this, we have to make the stroke out in the fingers to keep this, uh, to keep our wrist very relaxed. In the 
short backhand side, it's very obvious that you have to create the energy from the rotation in the underarm instead of your wrist. The wrist here will make very weird feeling inside your wrist and, and with this rotation I was talking about before you'll create a small movement which will increase your speed very much. In the forehand it's totally the same but you'll just do a rotation the other way like this instead of here do like this In the flat game, your time to do the stroke is very limited. So here, it is a key point for creating this energy that I'm talking about all the time, to do the right rotation in the underarm. Don't use the wrist, do rotations, and not like this. It's very clear when you look that it has to work here, and not here. And I'm running this channel. I partnered up with Christopher to produce a lot of content that I'm going to put out on Shot Life over the next long period of time. So stay tuned um, here on Shot Life. And I'm looking forward very much forward to joining Mass on this journey. So I really hope that you will hit that subscribe button and follow. My name is Mass and I am running Det er også travligt, at man skal have alt uden at lave én fejl. Ja. Fordi den her, den skal vi jo helt ikke cut i. Nej. Det er kun det engelske, der er der helt. Ja, ja. Det er jo kun det engelske, der er der pisse nemt. Ja, ja.